Welcome back to this channel, amazing viewers. This is Christianity Over Islam channel with Sam Shimon. And on this episode, Sam Shimon confronted a Muslim as he was tuned on Quran's contradiction. Let's watch this video, get more amazing facts and details. Uh, is there some other mistakes? Uh, oh, like there's too many, many. You want me to stand and spend more time with you? I can show you errors in the Quran oh. if you want. Oh, uh, do you want me to show you? Sure. I want you to pay attention to what it says. Let's follow the order. It is he who created for you all that is in the earth. Then, Thumma is the Arabic word. He turned heat to the heaven and fashioned it as seven heavens. And he is knower of all things. Now, since Muslims keep telling me the Quran is a scientific miracle and science confirms the Quran. And even Quran mentions the Big Bang. You've heard all these lies, right? Yeah, I've heard this. Yes. I'm glad you admit they're lies. Like I, said, no, I, I can't even admit that part. Okay. Now, according to Big Bang cosmology, you can't have the earth before the heavens, right? Because the earth is located in space. So their space is called heaven, right? Yeah. But here the Quran says the earth was formed. Then the heaven was formed into seven heavens. How can you have the earth before the heaven? And then he's turning to the heaven. Wait, wait, it doesn't say he created the earth first. Yes, it did. It says he it is who created for you all that is in the earth. Then turned he to heaven and fashioned as seven heavens. So you can't have the earth existing in a heaven that's not already fashioned and formed and shaped. In fact, all of your early Muslim scholars admit that the earth was first created, then the heaven was made into seven heavens, then the earth was then <clears throat> fitted to have mountains and nourishment. But they all admit the earth came first because of the reading of the Quran. So how do you reconcile this with Big Bang cosmology? Wait, who, who says that the earth was first? Well, like, who oh, else? Ibn Abbas, Tabri, Ibn Kathir, they all say it, man. Uh, I'll give you that decent in a minute, but they all say that. They all admit this. This is how they inter They didn't have Big Bang cosmology when they were commenting on the Quran. And Muhammad didn't have Big Bang cosmology. So they had no problem saying, yeah, yeah, the earth was created, but it wasn't fitted and fashioned. Then Allah took the smoke that was heaven, made into seven heavens, and then he turned his attention back to the earth, and then he filled it with its nourishments and mountains. When he says, he who created for you all that is in there, and he lifted himself to heaven, couldn't just say, so if, if there is no heaven, how could he lift himself to the heaven? No, that's not what it says. You just misquoted it, buddy. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Here, let me show it to you. 41 9 to 12 so i have no idea what you're talking about here 41 9 to 12 say O muhammad unto the idolaters disbelieve ye verily in him who created the earth in two days now count with me he created yeah. the earth in two days right yeah and ascribe ye unto him rivals he and none else is the lord of the worlds he placed therein firm hills rising above it and blessed it and measured therein its sustenance in four days alike for all who ask. now how many days did it take him to create its sustenance four days so two days he created the earth right yeah and how many days took uh, sustenance? Four days. So what's two plus four? Six. Okay. Then turned he to the heaven when it was smoke. You cannot have heaven being smoke after the earth is created. The heaven has to already exist. Uh, then uh, turned he to the heaven when it was smoke, right? Yeah. And said unto it and unto the earth. You cannot speak to the earth if the earth isn't existing when the heaven is smoke. So who's Allah talking to? The earth. And when is he talking to the earth? When the heaven is still smoke? How are you going to have earth existing when heaven is smoke? Uh. All right, guys, this is the part where this video gets more interesting. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so and hit the notification button to be notified each time we post a new video let's get back to this video to get more details um this agrees with big bang cosmology uh, well, may, may, smoke what is smoke maybe smoke means like heaven in smoke in means it, that it was let's use scientific term it was a gaseous gaseous mass yeah. but a gaseous mass means that the stars and the galaxies weren't formed yet and i'm going to prove it to you Mm -hmm. Then turned he to the heaven when it was smoke, said unto it unto the earth, Come both of you willingly or, or loth. They said, We come obedient. So notice, heaven is smoke and earth is already there. We come. Then he ordained them seven heavens and two mm -hmm. days and inspired each heaven its mandate. And we decked the nether, the lower heaven, with lamps. There you go. 
When the heaven was smoke, there were no galaxies, there were no universes. Then how could the earth exist? Uh, but, but, but the first part said, but what about the first part when it says, uh, like, the uh, first verse? Okay, here is the first verse, verse 9, one more time. Say, O Muhammad, unto thy doubters, disbelieve ye verily in him who created the earth in two days, and ascribe ye unto him rivals, he and none else as lord of the worlds. He placed therein firm hills, rising above it, and placed it, and measured therein its sustenance in four days, alike for all who speak. Then, Thumma, after he had finished this, turned he to the heaven, when it was smoke. You're still back to the same problem. You have the earth already existing, when the heaven was smoke, and there were no galaxies, no stars. Because it says, and said unto it and unto the earth. So the earth is already there. Unless you're telling me Allah is talking to an imaginary earth that doesn't exist. Mm. Uh, Come both of you. Both of you means heaven is there, earth is there, but heaven is there, smoke. So then when did he make the heaven into seven heavens where you have stars, meaning lamps? Well, let's read. Then said, they said, we come immediately. Then, Thumma, he ordained them seven heavens in two days and inspired in each heaven its mandate. And we decked the nether heaven with lamps and rendered it inviolable. That is the measuring of the mighty, the knower. So again, according to Big Bang cosmology, how can you have the earth existing when the heaven is smoke? There are no galaxies because the earth itself exists in the galaxy. Well, maybe it's using like a poetical way to explain smoke. And it's like maybe it's, a, it's like a poetical way. Maybe it's like using like poetical. A, but yeah. poetry is trying to tell you in poetic language, the sequence of creation, even if it's poetic, it's still giving you a sequence, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. The sequence doesn't agree with science. Well, now, the contradiction though. Now, this is the one you're referring to. Now, this one would be more in line with science, but now it contradicts the Quran. Here, what do I mean? Now, let's see what you're referring to. 79, 27, to 33. Pay attention. Are ye the harder to create, or is the heaven that he built? He raised the height thereof and ordered it, and he made dark the night thereof, and he brought forth the morn thereof, and after that he spread the earth. So, what came first? The heaven, right? And then after that he spread the earth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and produce therein the water thereof and the pasture thereof and he made fast hills right yeah but you got a contradiction do you remember why because it says here allah had already created the hills and the earth's provisions when the heaven was still smoke so which sequence are you going to follow now help me figure it out well maybe maybe it's like uh, like a no like in a like a sequ maybe it's like in a like in a random way, so you know, like in a sense, like no. it's like it's not the word thumma is not random, random and bada, like we say in the same baden afterwards, and after that, this is sequence, and the earth after that, even Tabari says this word means sequentially, like after the smoke. Yeah, no, this is saying he okay. spread the earth after the heaven was fashioned. But over here it says the earth was already fashioned and the hills already in place when the heaven was still smoke. So which is it? Did Allah spread the earth and create its nourishment and hills after he already decked the heavens or before he decked the heavens when the heaven was still smoke? Well, well what if the 41 is not like a sequence? Maybe it's uh... Yes, I just told you th then it's thumma, thumma. And it has to be sequenced because it says at this time, heaven was smoke when the earth existed. Thumma, oh, yeah. when the heaven was smoke, but the earth is already there. How? How can it be already there if it's not sequential? Um, I, I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, because even the scholars don't know. This is why Ibn Abbas said this is one of the most difficult sections of the Quran to interpret. That's in Ibn Kathir, where Ibn Abbas admitted these passages were difficult. He didn't know how to reconcile them. My point is, you have contradictions in the Quran. If you go with 41, 9 to 12, the earth was already existing when the heaven was smoke. Contradicts, big bang. But if you go with chapter 79, 27, 33, the heaven is already decked out. Then afterwards, he fashioned the hill, hills and nourishment of the earth. But then that contradicts 41, 9 to 12. 
So either one you take, you're going to have contradictions. All right, welcome back, guys. I believe you were able to learn something from this video. Let us know what you have learned in the comment section and share this video with your friends and your family and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button to be notified each time we post new videos like this. And um, there are many contradictions in the Quran that if we start talking about it, many Muslims will be surprised if it is actually coming from their Quran because many of you Muslims, you don't have adequate knowledge about your Quran. Maybe you are only, only living by what your Sheikh and your Imam had told you from the mock. So you don't even have the time to even study the Quran in context to know what it was actually saying and other muslim sources to be equipped with this knowledge so you don't even know until somebody else is able to point them out in the vi videos like this for you to even know many times many of you will come to the comment section to argue that it is not true but if you are serious about your faith about finding out the truth for yourself it is more easier for you to relate with your quran and also to get this truth for yourself and one of the contradiction is of the quran's account about the creations and then one of it is the creation of the world of how allah created the earth and then one part of the quran says allah created the earth first when the heavens was a smoke and then later created the heaven that is when Allah was forming the earth the heaven was as a smoke which means he created the earth first before heaven and when you go to other verses the same Quran now says that Allah created the heavens and then the earth later which at this point is a contradiction which one should we believe since the Quran is divided against itself? This is a major contradiction. We don't know what Allah created first, heaven or the earth. Since the Quran is divided, we don't know what Allah created first. And by calculation, Allah created the heaven and the earth in eight days, which is against the, the general belief that the earth and heavens were created in seven days. So. I believe this is a major, major mistake in the Quran. And so this shows that Muhammad doesn't even know how to copy correctly because some of these things he copied them from Christian literatures and the Torah. And so this is what will always happen when you try to copy someone's ex work without proper studying it or trying everything possible to make it look like your own work at the end, it won't make sense. The same way the Quran does not make sense outside other sources guys let us know what you think about this video in the comment section and if you are yet to subscribe please do so hit the notification button and please share our videos with your friends and your family thank you for watching see you in our next one